Double E Cup Series Season 2 Finale rolls into Daytona International Speedway down in Daytona Beach, Florida for Race 9, the final race of Season 2 Double E Cup Series. Take a look at our championship contenders. Our points leader is Denny Hamlin. He's got a six point lead over the rest of the field and he's been on a roll to see if he can get it done. Jeff Burton is second right now. He is only six points back from Hamlin. So he's looking for a good run and hoping that the 11 has some troubles. Greg Biffle, same thing. He is third. He is 13 points back in the 16 car. And right next, starting just in front of him is Casey Kane in the five. He is fourth. He is 18 points back. So he's definitely going to be looking for a lot of help. And one of the other guys that really still has a shot is in fifth place, Brad Keselowski. He is 19 points back, so he's really going to be looking for some help this afternoon. Here's our starting lineup. On the pole is Blake DeSauriavong and Adritru 827. Then we have Chris Maley in the 10, along with Jordan Davis in the 17. Then we have Jacob Grant, who's a championship contender, along with NTG11 Gamer, who's also a championship contender, with Sounders88, who's technically still in, in the hunt along with Mason Wood in the 14. Then we have Eugene Demax and G-Man34491, who's got a chance to make it two in a row, but he's going to need a lot of help. Then we have Trey Normile and NASCAR The Game 6, along with the Speedinator in the 22 and the Wrecker 88. Then we have Dom Caps, who, as we said before, has got a shot to win it, along with Joe Rutt in the 88. Then we have Phil Jones, our points leader, and 88Fan0311. Then we have Carson, hate 14, along with Brandon Bain. And then we have Jacob Hayes in the 24, along with Dylan Rash in the 3. Then we have Maxwell Vady in the 39, and Richard Johnson in the 55. And then towards the back, we have Jared Magoon, along with Rob Bob in the 56. Then rounding it out is the 9 of Thomas Baker. Well, that's your field. Let's take a quick look here at the race info. We have 10 laps around this 2.5 mile super speedway, 27 cars, and we have 7 drivers who still have a chance at the championship. And we're ready to get it started. Kevin Harvick and Joey Logano lead us to the green in the final race of the WE Cup Series Season 2. Down the front stretch and into turns 1 and 2, Danica Patrick gives Kevin Harvick a good push. He takes the lead. Too wide in the top 10 now as here comes Danica. Matt Kenseth moves into the middle lane. He's got a good run with Tony Stewart behind him. We're on lap two. Kevin Harvick's up there with Joey Logano. Matt Kenseth's coming up through the middle. And it looks like Matt Kenseth's going to take the lead. And there's contact. And there goes Kevin Harvick is around along with Danica Patrick and Joey Logano. Caution is out on lap two as a three-car spin on the backstretch has put us under caution for the first time here at Daytona. A lot of damage on the 10 and the 20, as you can see. Look at the replay. It looks like Danica was moving up to block the 14, got clipped, and just and hit the 29 and spun right in front of the, of, of the 20 of Joey Logano. Tough break for all of them, as none of them were championship contenders, so it doesn't do a whole lot to shake up that. But still, it's a tough break for all of them as both Danica and Logano are out of the race. Matt Kenseth leads, leads us to the restart on lap four. Casey Kane to his outside. As now hit the inside lane gets a really good restart. Here comes Trevor Bain and Jamie McMurray on the outside lane. McMurray will move down into the middle as he commands that middle lane. Jamie McMurray commanding the outside lane, but Matt Kenseth continues to lead. Now Matt Kenseth moves up in front of Joey Logano as Tony Stewart's in control of that inside lane. Jamie McMurray's starting to come back now. He's got Sam Hornish Jr. pushing him on the outside. Kenseth moves up to block. A little bit of shake and bake there in the middle as Kenseth is able to hold the lead now. He's got Jamie McMurray behind him with Tony Stewart and Greg Biffle coming up now on the inside. As you see the middle lane, Casey Kane and Eric Almarola slip way back as Tony Stewart uses the side draft to take the lead from Matt Kenseth. Two and three wide all the way back. As now it's contact on the front stretch. Four cars are involved. Sam Hornish Jr., Kyle Busch, it looked like Casey Kane and Trevor Bain. And this is a big, this is a tough break as now Casey Kane has been eliminated from title contention. He was fourth in points and he was hopeful to possibly steal it away today. But this is going to end those hopes. Look at the replay. It looks like the two of Keselowski gets into the 18 and he spins and collects... Trevor Bain, Casey Kane, and Sam Hornish Jr. Here you go, look at the live speed. Yeah, that's what happened. So, Kyle Busch is also eliminated from points in the 18 car. As Trevor Bain and Casey Kane find themselves in the garage, along with Kyle Busch, who will join his teammate.
Take a look at where all the championship contenders are. You see Greg Biffle right now would be your points leader, and he would win the championship. He is in fourth. Keselowski's fifth. Almorola eighth. Burton was seventh, and Denny Hamlin is eleventh. Now we're going to set up for a green-white checker. Two laps to go. Tony Stewart and Matt Kenseth will lead him to the green. What will happen? Who will win the championship? Two laps to go. Big run on the front inside lane. Brad Keselowski. As there it goes, Jamie McMurray. He slides up to the wall. Kenseth now for the lead moves down to block. Keselowski's right behind him. Here comes Jeff Burton with Greg Biffle now on the outside. Biffle trying to win this race and the championship. Jeff Burton as well. As now Denny Hamlin's come out of nowhere. He's there in the sixth position. Final lap. They head on the backstretch. Biffle tries to take the lead. He clears Kenseth. Through three and four now. Biffle. He goes down the block and there's contact. The home field wrecking behind them. Matt Kenseth wins the race. And Denny Hamlin is going to win the championship. As it looks like other guys are trying to finish the race as a about a nine, ten car pile up here at the very end of the race eliminates many championship hopefuls such as Brad Keselowski as you can see and Greg Biffle is eliminated. He was in the lead and it looks like him and Jeff Burton who's also eliminated made contact coming out of turn four and Eric Amarillo all as well as it took out about 11 or 12 cars. Matt Kenseth ended up winning the race but Denny Hamlin crossed the line second, and he is your season two champion. Look at what happened. Yeah, Biffle just went down to block Burton's momentum. Kenseth slipped by on the outside, and Hamlin was able to sneak through as well, whereas just about everyone else was collected. You saw Keselowski flipped over. Congratulations to Denny Hamlin for being the W Cup Series season two champion. Matt Kenseth and him will celebrate. Congratulations to Jordan Davis in the 17, his first win of the year. And congratulations, of course, to Phil Jones for being the champion. Here's your final results. As you can see, Jordan Davis in the 17 wins the race, his first and only win of the season. Along with Phil Jones finishes second, that'll lock up the title. You see a lot of guys in the top 10 were all really not involved at all in that last wreck, but they were able to take advantage of everyone else's misfortune. Most of these guys here were all involved in that final wreck at the end there. Tough break for Biffle and Burton as they were both in pretty good, con in pretty good position to possibly take that championship away from Denny Hamlin, but that final wreck there ended whatever hopes they had. Here's your final points. As you can see, Phil Jones wins the championship, and Trey Normal finishes second, and TG11 Gamer third. Our defending champ from last season, G-Man34491, finishes 11th in points this year in the 18 car. So, not terrible for them, of course, as he tried to rebound. A lot of these guys had some pretty tough seasons, and all these guys down here, there's always next year, as they'll definitely go out there and give it their all, so they'll try to become the Season 3 champions. Congratulations again to Matt Kenseth and Denny Hamlin, Jordan Davis, and Phil Jones, of course, for being our champion. Thank you to everyone who signed up and supported this series this season, whether you were in it or not. I appreciate all of your support. And season 3 will most likely begin sometime in April or possibly even May, depending on whenever I get all the new cars. But until then, more videos will be uploaded on this channel, so stay tuned. This is Eric, saying see you later.